I live! What's going on, guys? It's good to be back. I was sick this last week, that's why there were no videos, unfortunately, but I am finally well enough where I can form coherent sentences more than two words long before falling into a rabid fit of coughing. So, feeling well enough to make videos again, I'm happy to be back, so to launch into this, we're gonna do the box review for this week's new box of The Art of Neil Box, an animation throwdown. Like always, first up, we're gonna be taking a look at the legendary pre-combo card, CIA Student. So as far as legendary pre-combo cards go, this is actually a pretty good one. It's gonna be great while educated bonus is going on, and it actually does have some use outside of that as well, just based on its skills and stats. It's 15 attack is kind of middle ground, it's not great, it's not horrible. What I really like about it though is its HP at 55. You know me, when it comes to the pre-combo cards, anything above 50 is what I'm usually looking for, because pre-combos in my mind are meant to be buffer cards. They're meant to be little health tanks to kind of build out your card wall so you have more time to get more of your combos on the field, and this card meets that criteria with that 55 HP. On top of that, it actually has some really useful skills as well. When it is completely maxed out, it has eight bodyguard, any power combo card that has bodyguard is great in my opinion because it's a great defensive skill to protect not only it but your buffer cards as well so it can't protect your line. It also has 12 punch to be dealing out some really good damage out there as well and it has 14 leech so it's going to be self healing keeping itself alive and around a bit longer to much of the annoyance of your opponents. That being said, aside from being good on defense for like rumbles and the like, it's also great for Siege for an American Dad Island because based on those like stats and those skills, like I said, it can stick around for a bit and be pretty tanky defense-wise with that um, Leech and Bodyguard, so it can make a great defensive card to run on an American Dad Island for Siege as well. Now let's take a look at the legendary items in the box. First up is the brand new item, Neil Goldman. That's right, Neil is such an underrated character in the show, they had to make him an item in this game. So, the maxed out version of the Neil Goldman card, it leans a bit more on defense than offense. Maxed out, it only has 6 attack, which is pretty weak and lackluster. However, if you were to play this boy on defense, you have an amazing item. 59 HP is almost above 60 there. You're almost at that amazing A1 top tier rank for defense. Anything above 60, that should absolutely be in a defense deck, but it's phenomenal with 59 HP, and his skills are great for defense as well. When he's maxed out, you got 7 Bodyguard, which is Honestly, one of the best defensive skills because it makes sure that this card cannot get one-shotted by punches or anything like that. It also protects your flank cards as well. You do also have that 10 payback, which is another great defensive skill to be dealing some damage to your opponents that they can't really block too effectively, so that can ruin some rumble scores. And of course, it has that very useful 11 leech, which is good to help keep it alive a bit longer to annoy your opponents to no end. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the combos you can make with this card. You can make a total of 40 combos. We're going to go on and scroll on through these, and I'm going to just kind of highlight the ones that I really like. So starting out right off the bat, the Art of War with Stewie is actually a pretty good combo. And one thing to keep in mind too, the displays you're seeing here for combos are just showing you the combo that you can make with unleveled cards of each. If you're working with um, maxed out quad fuse cards, these will be a lot stronger. But just base level here, I am liking the Stewie. He leans definitely towards defense to be a tank. If he was maxed out, I'm sure he has a lot of attack as well. What I really dig though are his skills. They're very useful. He has Motivate that can go to any card. He's got a crap ton of heal all that can go to Educated, so it's a great healer for your Educated deck. And he has Shield all that can go to any card. So he's a very great support combo to be running in general in any deck just for the Motivate and the Shield all alone. And if you happen to be running an all Educated deck, then the Heal all comes into play there as well. So it's a fantastic combo. Next up is Principal Peter. That's also another really good one. Principal Peter can work well on offense because of the punches and the cheer there. Cheer does only go to um, fellow educated cards, so keep that in mind. The bodyguard's also nice, so you can run this on offense. Defensively though, he works great because Peter, when he's quad fuse maxed out as a character, is a pretty good defensive character to run. And if you can go ahead and make a Principal Peter, you got yourself a really good defensive tank on the field. Next up, you got Sex Ed Teacher with Peggy, another one that's really good. You saw me use it quite a bit during the last Rumble when there was still the music bonus going on along with the Educated. She's got that Motivate um, to your fellow Educated cards. 
cripple all, which is great to go towards um, just keeping your opponents being able to attack you as much, crippling their whole line. And what I was using a lot last time was the jab, breaking through those shields from the music bonus. So jab is a great skill to have when you need to be busting through walls and shields and the like. Next up we got CIA student that you can make with Stan, so if you remember that's the pre-combo from this box. I do really like CIA student here for its skills as well. Stan alone is already a really good balanced mythic card, so this is going to be a great one to run on offense and defense if you have it. Because when this is maxed out, you're going to have a lot higher stats here. you got the bodyguard to protect it and your fellow flank cards. You'll have a crap ton of punch and a crap ton of leech, so this is definitely a combo you should be running if you can run it. Mr. Deliver with Roger is actually a really good one to run on defense in my opinion because Roger, when he's maxed out, is not bad on defense. He's got fairly decent HP and he's got some good defensive skills on his own between the payback and the like. The Mr. Deliver combo though, when you have it all maxed out, I know from uh, personal experience, has a crap ton of bomb damage you'll be dealing out. Has a crap ton of cheer that can go to any card to really do some really a lot of good damage on your opponents there down the line and it will have a good amount of leech as well to keep it alive so that's another really good one to keep in mind. High School Linda is one of the ones I think they just added in recently for a newer combo. She leans a bit more towards defense than offense. She is already a health tank by herself for Linda Belcher and when you make the combo she'll have even more HP there. Her skill wise Definitely go towards um, defense though and support like I was saying. She has Motivate which will go only to Educated so if you're running an Educated all deck that'll be great otherwise you're not going to see too much use of that. Bodyguard is always great on defense and like I said if it's maxed out you'll have a lot more Bodyguard there. Same with the Hijack. Great thing to have to prevent your opponents from crazing against you so that's going to be a great defensive combo to be running. Next, you got the Home Ec Teacher with Bob. That's another fantastic combo to run. Honestly, offense or defense if your Bob is high enough that you have him leveled because he's got great stats for the attack and defense. He's got a crap ton of punch, so he will be pretty much decimating through your opponent's cards there, no problem. He's got the jab too, so that'll be eating through any walls or shields, and he's got a crap ton of bomb. Basically, you got a one-man wrecking crew right here in Home Ec Teacher with Bob, so fantastic combo to be running if you can run him. Next is Mock Trial Luis. You probably saw me use her a lot during the last Rumble matches as well. Kind of similar to Bob, pretty hard hitting with the punches and bombs, it's just missing the jabs. And then she leans a bit more towards defense than offense because her attack is on the lower end, but she is a great health tank. You can make the handy dandy diorama Jean with Jean with this card. This is honestly one of my favorite combos to run for Educated because you do have a dedicated healer that has a crap ton of punch and motivate Educated cards as well. These stats go through the roof when it's working with quad fuse cards to make it. As you can see in my previous um, Rumble videos, you can go ahead and check those out. I'll have the link either on screen or in the description if you haven't seen them already, just to get an idea of how awesome this card is. This is honestly probably one of the best, if not the best, combo to make for Educated, in my opinion, for at least Rumble matches. Uh, News Anchor Tina is trying to just whatever. I don't really think she has too much use in my opinion. Maybe in um, Siege because her cheer does only go to Bob's Burgers. But yeah, not one of my favorites. We're going to skip on over her. Cadet Hill is one of the new ones they just added here for this round of Educated. He's actually a pretty good one to run for either defense or offense. Defensively, Bobby's not too bad. His skills kind of support defense a bit more than offense. Um, and he has a pretty decent amount of HP. When you make the combo though, you got Craze, you got Gas, and you got Punch. So you got a good, kind of hard hitting combo there that only gets stronger. You can make Shop Teacher Hank with Hank. This can be a pretty good offensive um, combo to run for support. It does have Motivate, um, it has Shield All that can go to any card, which is nice, and you have Cripple. So it's a nice support card. It doesn't have too much power behind it on its own, so you can run it as a support combo offensively. Defensively, it doesn't serve much of a use, and Hank is not a really good character to run defensively unless you want to give your opponents a really easy 100 perfect score against you. You can make High School Bill with Bill. That is also one of the best Educated combos you can make coming up during the um, bonus here for Educated for the Rumble because when it's maxed out you got a crap ton of wall, a crap ton of punch, and you will have a crap ton of craze as well. So this is going to be another hard hitting one that I expect to see a lot of during Rumble. You can make the new Educated combo with Leela for Babysitter Leela here. She's a pretty good one to run. You can kind of run her versatilely. I would not recommend running her on defense unless you have a really high level Leela, 
because basically level 35 HP can get one shot at no problem. The combo skills here don't really justify running her on defense, so I wouldn't run her that way unless your Leela is like probably at least almost a quad fuse in my opinion. But breaking this down, she does have some great skills for offense. That 22 chair can go to any card down your line, so that will create a monster down the line somewhere. You can make her into a health tank with that 28 um, recover there every time you make another combo, so she will get a crap ton of HP every time you do that. And she does have 13 cripple all. If you can get a cripple all wall built on your side of the field, you can kind of minimize all incoming damage from your opponent, which is always nice just to kind of toy with them. Next was Mind Switcher Amy. That's a brand new one they just added for this round of Educated. She works pretty good on defense in my opinion, because the Dr. Amy Wong normally is a good defensive card to run. And then skill-wise, you'll have a crap ton of hijack and a crap ton of cripple, which is always nice to have. And it does have that boost skill, so if the AI does make combos down your line, she can get stronger. But I wouldn't really run her offensively, at least not in my deck, because I have other options. But I think she is better defensively and offensively, in my opinion. You can do the Bending School grad with Bender here. That's going to be another great one to run offensively and potentially defensively as well. It um, has the Wall and Hijack, which is great. Wall is going to keep it alive a lot longer than any other card that doesn't have Wall, obviously, because it's an extra bit of stuff they got to break through before they touch your HP. Hijack is always good to prevent your opponents from crazing against you. So for all those people that are going to be using the high school bills, um, what else was crazy? If they use a bending school grad against you, anything that has craze, you're stopping them. And you have your own craze to get it stronger each and every turn. You can make the chosen brain fry with fry. That's an excellent support one for healers to go offensively because you have that heal all to educate it. So if you need healers for rumble or challenges, not a bad way to go. It does have payback, which is nice defensively, but I would not really recommend running a fry on defense. Even for chosen brain fry, it's you can kind of overcome it not too hard, so I wouldn't run that defensively. You do have the 11 um, Leech though, which is pretty good, so it can also be self-healing itself while it's healing your card wall as well. Um, you can make Lab Student Meg with the Meg there. She is all right. You can kind of run her defensively or offensively. I know the Quad Fuse version of Meg can go either way. You do have Cripple All, which is really nice. You got the Gas, which is really good to annoy your opponents, and she has boost so she can get stronger. Going further down the line, you can see you can make um, any of the Mythics. If you have the Epic version of the card, you can make their combos too, though albeit slightly weaker. With Quagmire, you can make ABC Quagmire. That's going to be a really kind of good one to run on defense, in my opinion, because it's kind of tanky there with its HP. It's got Hijack, which is always great to run defensively. It's got Bomb to annoy your opponents, and it's got a good amount of Cripple. So great combo to run defensively in a defense deck. If you have a Bullock, you can make CIA Instructor. That's going to be another really good kind of tanky one to run defensively, in my opinion. Although Bullock by himself is kind of on the lower end HP, so unless you have him leveled, maybe not the best thing to run, but he can work because you do have a crap ton of wall. You do have a good amount of cheer all to cheer your entire card line, and you have jab to be breaking through walls there. And if you happen to have the um, Boomhauer card, this is another great one to run defensively. You got a crap ton of wall, a crap ton of payback, and a crap ton of bomb damage. So if you can manage to get this combo on the field, especially if it's in your defense deck, your opponent is most likely not walking away with a perfect score. They are going to be taking a crap ton of damage. And finally, the last one to go over is going to be Mission Doctor that you can make with Zoidberg if you have him. That is going to be a phenomenal support one for you to run offensively as your healer. He's also a powerhouse because you got a crap ton of craze there. So he starts out slow, but he will get strong real quick. But like, like I mentioned, he is going to be a great support healer for you because he's got all them burgers there. So he'll be healing up one of your cards real well. So that's going to benefit you really well in rumble and challenges. He also has a lot of recover. So every time you make other combos, he'll be gaining more HP as well. The next item in the box is Student Lucky. This is going to be one of your offensive items to be running. His um, stats order more towards offense than defense with 18 when he's maxed out. That's on the higher end there. 38 HP is on the low end for HP. So like I said, don't run him on defense unless you want to give your opponent an easy one shot. Skill wise, you do have the hijack, which is nice. So you can kind of prevent your opponents from crazing, but I wouldn't leave him alone too long with such low HP. You do have the jab there though, which is nice to be breaking through walls and shields. And you have the 11 gas there just to try to chip away at your opponent's HP a bit more. 
And as for the combos, this card also makes 40 different combos. I'm pretty sure it makes the exact same ones we just touched on before. So if you need to review back earlier in the video to get a better look, feel free to do so. And the final item in the box is Dr. Cahill. So this is another good item when maxed out to run on defense. It's got 52 HP, which when you factor in its nine sturdy wall as well, puts it right there in a beautiful, beautiful spot to block a lot of damage and kind of just stay out there for a good amount of time. 10 attack is on the lower end. It's not gonna be doing too much damage on its own until you combo on up, but that's okay. It's meant to be more of a tank and also just be support because you also have seven motivate on this card when it's maxed out. So that's gonna be great helping your card line. The 13 heal, unfortunately, does only go to Futurama cards, so you're not gonna see much use of that outside of an all Futurama deck or on a Futurama Island in Siege. Once again, for the combos, it makes a total of 40. Pretty sure it makes the same 40 again, so once again, we will not be going over that again because we just covered all of those. No need to waste more time on it. And that's gonna do it for all of the items in the box. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the legendary characters. So first up is gonna be Bill Dotree. He's gonna be a great one to have for educated because if you remember that high school Bill combo is no joke. He also makes a crap ton of good combos across quite a few different um, battleground effects. We'll touch on his combos in a minute. If you look here though, as far as characters go, the maxed out version of him, he's pretty good offensively with 17 attack. Skill-wise, he also has got the bomb, which is nice, and the craze to make him stronger. His shield all, uh, not shield all, his regular shield, not shield all, just regular shield, only goes to King of the Hill cards, so you're not going to see any use of that outside of Siege for a King of the Hill Island unless you're only running King of the Hill characters. As for combos, as you can see here, Bill makes a total of 125 combos at this point in time in the game. I'm not going to spend the next 20 minutes going over every single one of these. You can um, feel free to look through it in your um, in-game. You can click on the combos tab there like I did, and you can view every single combo you can make. If you don't have Bill, you can also look up the combos online um, on cartoonbattles.com. I'll have the link down in the description. But yeah, there's 125 combos for this. Just to try to keep the videos down to a reasonable time, I'm only going to go over combos for the items that you can currently make in the box. As for characters, when they have that many, it's not really making sense from a time aspect to go over all of those, but feel free to check those out when you get a chance. The other character in the box is Philip J. Fry, another fantastic one to have for offense. He's got an amazing attack stat when he's maxed out at 18. Skill-wise, it's kind of just whatever. His um, payback is good defensively, but his HP is not good for defense, so it's kind of a wash there. He's got the boost to get his attack higher on combos, which is nice, but again, you usually want to combo your characters as soon as possible. And similar to the Bill, Fry Shield only works for his show, which is Futurama, so you're not going to see much use of that outside of a Futurama deck. As for the combos, as you can see here, Fry combos with a total of 188 cards, so a lot of combo potential across pretty much every single battleground effect and trait in the game, so great versatile character to have. Once again, way too many combos to go over every single one of them, unfortunately, but feel free to check out that link to that website in the description of the video if you want to get a feel for all the different combos for the cards you might have in your inventory, or feel free to scroll through in-game on the combo tab here if you happen to have Fry and you can look at all of these as well. That's it for the characters, now let's take a look at the epic pre-combos. So first up is the Art of War. As you can see here, the maxed out version of Art of War is actually looking pretty damn good for defense at any level of play, even at the top for the pay to win. It actually fits the criteria for the sweet zone there at 55 HP, so it's actually an amazing epic pre-combo. If you happen to get a quad fuse of this, do not recycle it, because you still have all those amazing skills. You got the motivate, you got the shield all. Granted, at the epic version of this, because it's a pre-combo, you're not getting much out of those. They're pretty minimal, but hey, it's better than nothing. And you do have the heal all still for the um, educated card. So, so if you need a good extra defensive pre-combo to throw in your educated deck, this is not a bad way to go if you need to balance it out if you don't have any more legendary ones. And the other epic pre-combo in the box is Honey Bucket Student. The epic pre-combo version of this one, I'm not gonna lie, it's complete garbage. Those stats are pretty bad. The skills, while they are great defensive skills normally, the stats don't reflect that at all to where it would run any success for you. My advice at any level of play, whether you're free to play, pay to win, whether you just started the game or you've been playing forever, just recycle this for the wads. It's not even worth the storage space in your inventory. Just burn it. That's my advice. So my final thoughts on the box. Your legendary pre-combo is fantastic in this box. All three items are actually pretty good items in my opinion. 
They all have pretty well-balanced stats for different areas, and the combos you can make, there's actually a pretty good variety there to build a good deck, so I love all the items in this box. As for your characters, both of them are fantastic characters that are great to have multiple quad fuse copies of. I have nothing bad to say about either of them. As for the epic pre-combos, I absolutely love the Art of War. I think it's very useful at any level of play on defense. My only gripe with it would be kind of the skills, because it has amazing skills, but it's pretty low values on those skills. So that's kind of a little bit of a ding against it, but it's a very minor ding. I wouldn't even call it a ding. I'd call it maybe like a, a scratch or a love tap. It's still an amazing card. As for the Honey Bucket student though, that's complete garbage. Burn it. Just get rid of that ASAP. It should not even exist as an epic pre-combo. So when I factor all of that in together, this box as a whole, despite how bad that one epic pre-combo is, everything else is just kind of top tier amazing and I love it. So I'm going to have to give it a perfect 5 out of 5 Golden Turd rating. Anyways, thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to click that like button. And if you're new to the channel or haven't already, please click that subscribe button and be sure to click that little bell icon so you get notified of new uploads. Thanks again guys. It's good to be back. Peace.